Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be working on the E90. Uh, what happened was the door lock uh, seemed to fail. It locks. It doesn't want to unlock except for when you pull the handle. Now, they say this is a common fault, so we're going to go ahead and we'll show you exactly what goes on with the door open. And we're going to see exactly what we're going to fix. Most likely, we have to remove everything and to have it uh, reinstalled with a new one. I'm going to show you the removal process. We'll replace it with a new one and I'll show you the differences between the two. They both they work to be the same should be so just gonna have that replaced and we should be working up and running this is not gonna have anything to do with having the the key lock set removed well, I'm show you the step by step to remove everything put in a new one and then you should be good to go this is a common fault so if this happened to you this should be an informative video as to how you can replace it and how you should have it fixed up so yeah without being further ado let's get started with removing this thing first we have to remove the the door panel and everything from there, we're going to move the windows thing every side, you, you'll see in the video. Common tools you're going to need for this are the Torx screwdrivers or socket sets that all be linked in the description down below. you also see in the video what I'm going to be using. Uh, also an Allen key to remove the actual key lock from the door so you can get the entire lock set off. So you're going to be using that once you reinstall everything just to get everything out, uh, you get the entire lock out of it. It's going to be a bit of a difficult situation which you can see on camera but otherwise to remove it it's uh, it's very simple and in this video I'll show you I'll open up the damaged one so you can see what is the dam what is the actual cause of uh, why it stops working and why the common failure is so without any further ado let's get started with this uh, removal of this uh, lock and then we can install the new one First thing, remove the trim from here and then you get the three screws that hold the door panel in and level the clips. Get this out. Should be fairly simple. Just here. Set that aside. There's three screws. One, two, three. You remove those and then you get the, the door panel off. Next you're going to grab your T30's Torx and you're going to remove the three screws here, one, two and three. That will remove the main lock set but remember there's other things that's being attached inside here which I'm not sure I'll be able to show you. First remove the clip, there's two tabs on the side over here, clip that, take the cable off, let it set it aside and then remove so it gets the access to here. And also to get, so you can see. There's a 10mm over here and 10mm over here. You remove these two to remove the window channeling. That will allow you to gain a little bit extra wiggle room to get this lock out. You have to remove these three screws and then also the button itself and then you'll be able to move it out. There's also the attachments at the, in the back of it that will attach to the exterior handle as well as the lock for here. So you take that everything out and then the lock will be free to come off. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this first get everything off from here And it's out. Alright, so here's the new one here. Everything is the same. We tried it on the car, everything works. I'm just gonna go put this on and close it up. Then I go open up this one, the old one, and you can see exactly what the problem is with this new with the old one.
All right, guys. So now that you've seen how to replace the lock and to reinstall it, to take everything out, to put it back, to see what what I'm gonna do for you now is I'm gonna open up this one so you can see. This is the old one that came up from the car. I'm gonna open it up to show you exactly what the problem is or what the, is the cause of it of the premature failure. Now, give give and take. This is a, this is from a car that's from 2006, so it's about 12 years. So things are about to, things are gonna break. So it's just, they say this was a common fault for things. I'm not too sure how much it was, but I know I never had a problem with it before. But this is the first time it happened to me and I'm glad it actually did because I know now what are the actual, the problems are in this thing because I opened it up yesterday, tried, 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 tried to repair it, failed. That's, that's the best part about it because you don't ever, if you don't try, you don't, you try, you fail, you try, you fail, you try, you know the thing. But anyway, let's open this, this thing up here and I can show you exactly what the problem is with this. Okay, I've got my T25 and I've got my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to open up this first, you take the metal part out, slide it off and then you'll be able to access the plastic cover which will just cl uh, come off with these uh, screws over here, up here as well, you have these little clips, these broke, some because uh, I tried opening up yesterday, these broke, so yeah, you open this up and you'll see exactly what the problem is and why these get damaged. So yeah, let's just get, open up this. Start with, the silver, start with the metal part first and just okay, just use that your flathead screwdriver lift it up take it off do it very gently because if you happen to find the parts to repair this you'll want to use everything properly now you just need to Go for it slowly. Till you hear a click, basically. And that's out. So once this is here, this is your locking release. You see this is where it actually pushes in with the handle. Now we're going to open up the rest of the screws along with the clips to, to expose the central locking units. Now believe it or not, this is actually two motors that you actually find in an RC control car. You have a clip over here they have clips all around but since these are broken you don't have to worry about it just be careful with that okay this part here is actually for the key lock itself so this goes in here and as you can see this here is the actual problem the gears actually break off in the unit. I'm going to disassemble this entire system just to get this gear off. So then you can see what is the actual cause of why the damage is done. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get working back with that. Okay. This is the actual locking. This releases, this is from the inside. It releases, picks up the unit over here. So it opens up the latch. So I'm going to just take out everything, be very close attention to what goes where so that if you happen to repair this you can know exactly how it goes so that'll come off this comes off well basically everything will come off you have to be careful with these, with these inner springs because these are most important This is it here. This is what actually broke. It sheared off the thing, the whole, the gears, in two places, causing it to just make those grinding noises and just run freely. Which is what causes it to not pick the button up, but instead it does also. It just locks it using this end here. Now, if you happen to repair this, you're gonna get a new gear. Slot this back in. It's gonna sit between the motor, just like this, 
and you're gonna reassemble everything all at once. So we're gonna start off with this spring, which goes in here, and all fits in accordance with the corresponding holes that it goes in. So that in there. Once that's in, it'll lock and then just reassemble. Okay, once you're done with everything like that, just place this cover back on, get those clips in. Tighten up your screws again and then you can have this reinstalled in your car if you happen to get a gear to have it replaced. Now to be honest if you happen to repair this it's all well well and good because you know this is the actual unit that comes off your own car but if it's more affordable to put a new one by all means do that. So it will save you the time and hassle to get this repaired and it's just a direct plug and play now I just forgot this but it doesn't matter this is the old one I'm just gonna put everything back but you get the idea And there it is. You see if you lock it and if you release, it releases. So that takes care of that. So yeah guys that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching for all those who did. Uh, please leave a like and a comment if you found this video informative. I really hope you did. So yeah that's it for this video. This is trash basically. It's not going to be going back in the car. Um, the one I have now works perfectly, it locks, unlocks as you would expect, as you want. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you did find it informative, if you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and do leave your comments in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help you if you have any questions. Also consider subscribing to the channel, it'll really mean a lot to me and it'll help my channel grow. And I'm trying to get to a thousand subs, so hopefully this video helps me to get to there. It also helps you in terms of getting this and understanding why it's such a common problem. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it again. I'm saying this for a third time because I put in a lot of effort into this video. So, and because this is something I didn't expect. Relax. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.